Hi, bless you. My name is Evangelist Kaswale. You can call me Mama for short, please. We do respect. Share my videos for me. The more you are sharing, and God is using it to save so many people for his kingdom. You know that through sharing, then God is blessing you. The moment you share the truth, the truth of gospel, God will always bless you. So please share for me for God to win so many people with this video. I want us to look something in Amos chapter 8, verse number 11. I'm reading. The Bible says, The time is surely coming, says the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from border to border, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Beautiful girls and strong young men will crawl things in that day, thirsting for the Lord's word. And those who, who swear by the shameful idols of Samaria, who take oath in the name of the God of them and make vows in the name of the God of Bathsheba. They will all fall down, never to rise again. Amen. You know, there will be a time. There will be a time. You will feel thirsty. Not thirsty to have water to drink, but thirsty for the word of God. You will feel so thirsty to listen to the word of God. And, and not even, uh, and you feel hungry. Hungry wouldn't be bread, but the word of God. Because there will be a point of time you will never get the word to listen to. This is the time for you to listen to the word of God and do the will of the Father. You will go roaming around, searching, going up and downs, seen by seas, border by borders, male and female, young men, Young women were roaming around the world from urges to urges. They are roaming not for anything, but listen. They, they, they will be hungry and thirsty to listen to the word of God. They will be eager to listen to the word of God. But at that point of time, there will be no word for you to listen to. So this, to, this is your time. This goes mostly to the youth. This is the time for you to listen to the word of God. Because he said in, uh, he said it in verse 13, 8, 13. He says, beautiful girls and strong young men will crawl things in that day, thirsting for the Lord's words, they will crew, they will crew, they will crew on the ground. They will be so thirsting for the word of God. But beautiful young girls, strong young boys, strong young men wouldn't have that opportunity to listen because at that point of time, there will be no, there will be nothing 
not the word. God will demolish everything. I mean his word. He, he, he will take everything from the from the evangelist. He will take the uh, he will take his words from the prophets, from the evangelist, from the uh, 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 um, apostles. You know, even for the prophet that they listen, they, they hear the word. For 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 the people that they, 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 the God passed through them to bring prophecy, there will be no more. God will take everything away from them. So at the point of time, you will say that I have a pastor there. So let me go to the pastor and listen to the word of God. He would, he or she wouldn't have nothing to tell you because God wouldn't let them see anymore, hear anything anymore. Everything will be demolished. God is speaking to somebody today. God is telling somebody that that person should repent. This is your time. This is the grace that God is given to you to listen to the word of God, to repent. Repent. Young girls, young men, repent from your secret sin. Repent. Allow yourself for God to save your soul. Allow yourself for God to win your soul. Because there will be a time you will never ever get the word of God to listen to. This is your time. This is your time, young men and young women. This is your time. There will be a time you will roam around. You will have money. You will travel across. You want to go and see this pastor. You want to go and see this evangelist. You will roam around to listen to the word of God. But you wouldn't. You wouldn't even have a pain to listen to. If God is speaking to someone today, please. Then it's you that God is talking to. God is talking to you that you should come out from your secret sin. Come out. Whatever you are doing today will lead you to distractions. It will lead you to hell. Stop masturbation. Stop the alcoholism. Stop the homosexuality. Stop the robbery. Stop smoking. Stop whatever you are in today. That is sin. That is a sinful thing. Stop it. Stop lottery. My bed, my one expect. Stop whatever that brings you. That brings you. Whatever you are doing that is no godly way. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hunting for powers. Powers that is satanic powers. There will be a time you wouldn't listen to. You, you, you wouldn't have the word to listen to. Be careful. Be careful. God is watching you whatever you are doing. His eyes is roaming around. He's watching you. Be very careful. Be very careful. Repent. God needs your repentance. Repent. His second coming is at hand. Repent for his second coming. Let Christ win your soul. Because there will be a time you will get thirsty. You will get hungry. But not for food or not for bread or not for water. But for the word of God. Repent. Repent. And come to Christ. He has opened his hand. To save you. And he will save you. From any distractions. Bless you. And bless you. Keep following me. All my social media handle. 